Yeah. All right, I'm out here in New Excuse sir. Gym. Sir. Man, I got the head coach training the whole nine, man. The Monroe, man. What's good, man? What's up, man? All right, thanks for coming. Man, I truly appreciate it, man. Y'all did, y'all, y'all did, did well down there at Nationals. Talk about the experience. Oh, man, it was good getting back just fighting for you know. It was a long layoff with COVID. You know, I was real happy with the performance. Even that week, like over 16 months, man. Now, um, going into the JOs, how many kids are you planning on taking down to the JOs this year? JOs, I might have anywhere between 12 and 15. Woo! Oh, you taking a whole I'm taking them off. I left some at home. I left, I left, I left some at home this time. You know, they feel they were quite ready you know, for the national, so so we will go to the next one. So. You know what's crazy? The, uh, like with the nationals, with the kids in that area, man, they see the. The, the top level competition all the time every weekend it seems like so when they get to the nationals man they comfortable man because they, they've always faced top competition exactly it's, we spot the best in the area so you know what I'm saying we, we, it's like second nature to them you know what I'm saying and we trust we got a lot of in-house on here at the gym as well being on this area you get a good work and it helps you know um, if someone wanted to be a, uh, be a part of uh, No Excuse Gym, how could they be a part of that? If someone like uh, their kids wanted to get their kids involved with the sport, uh, what advice would you give them? Because it's not for everybody. I mean, boxing ain't for everybody. That is an individual sport. You know, everybody heard the slogan, you can't play boxing. It is true. But they serve about that. Let's take your parents to bring them down to the gym. I like, get y'all the information you need. Come join the team. Now, now, also, uh, Coach, uh, with your son Lamont, uh, you know, he was on that list for the for the 130, uh, top 10 in the 130 uh, division, man. What's up next for him? Oh, um, we closing in another title shot real soon. So I think probably one fight and then the title shot. Oh, wow. Uh, you think before the end of the year out? Yeah, I think the end of the year out. How exciting uh, is that for you, man, to, to get that shot? Peaking at the right time. So we learned from the last title fight. Came real close to getting that one. But it helped us grow as a fighter, and uh, we definitely will capitalize on that. Man, what's one of the most memorable uh, experiences you t- you taking away from the Nationals this year? From this year? Yeah, from this year. Man, just seeing the kids that grow, you know, some of the kids going to different age brackets, different weights. It ain't easy going up a different weight class, different age brackets, and performing with them. Some of the kids that didn't get the nod that I thought should have won, but the way they perform, man. I'm really excited about what the future holds for them, man. They stepped up, man. They showed out. They rumbled. Some of them rumbled. Ding the dong, man. I was very happy about that. I'm looking forward to the next tournament. Already. Well, that's what's up, man. Congratulations on everything, uh, Coach, man, and continue to do what you're doing, man, right here. No excuse, yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out, man. You always welcome to get you. Man, I, I truly appreciate you, man. Always welcome here to your house, Coach, man. I, always, I appreciate <laughs> hey, it, man. man. We need more like you, man. Thanks again, man. Back. All right, man. There you have it. Come to my. We out.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one of your youngsters right here? Yeah, he up next. He up next? Yeah. How long he been here? He been here about three weeks right now. Three weeks? He's seven. He's eight in December. I'm going to let him go. You going to let him go? He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. You're going to be you're gonna be ready soon. I'm going to get beat by that bad All right, today on Knowing the Ropes, I'm out here at No Excuse Gym with Jordan Roach, man. What's good, big dog? What's good? Man, you're coming off the Nationals, man. This is your fourth national, four-time national champion, man. How does it feel? It feels good. You know, we put in the work that day and to go out and showcase that hard work. It just feels good. Now, I want to talk about the, the finals that you were involved in. Uh, you had a tough battle, man, right there with uh, Ryan, man. What, what's, what's your relationship like, man? Because y'all have been to war before. I mean, it's not really no relationship. It's just mutual respect. That's it. I mean, we see each other with my speed. That's it. That's, and we fight every day. That's it. And my father, my father and his coach are cool. They exchange DMs on Instagram. So they have a, so they have a uh, great relationship right now. Because I've seen they, they've came down to, to your gym before, I think, uh, sometime last year. Came down this far. Yeah. So, what was your preparation like going into the nationals this year? Was it any different because of the COVID situation the, uh, the previous year? Man, it wasn't really different. The work was the same. It wasn't really too much different. Just working hard, working hard, working hard. Now, you, we have the JOs coming up this uh, this summer, man. Currently ranked number one, man. How does it feel, man, to to go in there with a target on your back? Feels the same. I've been I've been ranked since I was like 12, so it's nothing really different. I went out there, fight the same way, fight harder, and done. Now, as you get older, does 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 it does the sport of boxing change in any way, mentally or physically, for you at all? Um, yeah, it changes because the time, the round limit. Like, when you're younger, you fight a minute, thirty minute. Now, when you fight three minutes, you might gotta change your style up a little bit more. 
work harder to maintain the style that you have. What, what was one of the biggest things that you took away from Nationals? Your main focus is to go in there and get that W, huh? Just going in and I don't really got too much for but... What was, what was it like hanging out with your teammates down there, man? It was fun to be out there for the first time in two years. One, one, a year and a half. It felt good. Supporting your teammates on the sideline, I'm their biggest fan. You know, it's crazy, man. You know, in that area, man, that's a lot of top talent, man. So it's, it's like always great competition when all the clubs in this area come together for those different sparring days and things of that nature. So you, it's almost like you're comfortable going into nationals because you've always faced uh, top competition. Yeah, I've been fighting the nationals since I was 11 years old. My first fight was against somebody with 100-something fights. So I jumped in there pretty quick. Well, that's what's up, man. I truly appreciate your time, man. And congratulations on the win, the Nationals, four-time national champion. And uh, tell them where you rank right now. Number one at which, uh, which weight? Number one at 108. Number one at 108. Looking forward to him going down to the Junior Olympics and uh, getting that number one spot again. All right, there you have it. Jordan Roach, no excuse, Jim. We out. Appreciate it. All right, I'm out here, no excuse, Jim. I'm with my dog, BJ, man. What's good, big dog? What's up, what's up? You a six-time national winner? Yes, sir. Man, that's crazy, man. And you only in the, what, in the 10th grade? Yeah, 10th grade, 16th. 16th, man. I know you got a lot of eyes on you right now, man. Has, has the talks been well, pretty much out there, like with different promotional companies, trying try to, try to get you to make I mean, that jump early? I mean, yeah, we had a couple talks. I mean, we really focus on making the uh, junior team and improving my game. That's pretty good. It's, it's, your, it's your goal uh, to go the Olympic route for that 2024? Yes, yes. That's, that's my goal. I want to go to the Olympics, uh, try to win a gold, gold medal, and then uh, go pro. Now, I, I want to talk about uh, uh, your matchup in the finals, man. Mm -hmm. um, talk about your opponent and, and what was your strategy going into, and going into the final match? Um, well, Rivera, I know he was going to box. Um, he was going to try to box me. So, you know, I had to come in careful off my jab and, you know, just keep the press on. Man, that was another great, tough uh, final matchup right there. Have y'all, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure y'all sparred many a times yeah, before. Uh, we, yeah, we sparred a couple times before. Um, yeah, you know, he a he, good fighter, but I know what his game plan is going to be. So. Oh, you already knew the strategy yeah. going there. Hey, did, did y'all talk, <laughs> talk after the fight? Um, you know, I said good fight and all that, but that's pretty much. Now, was this Nationals what you expected, or, 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 or was it a little more different than what you thought it was going to be this time around? I mean, it was it was different. I mean, uh, for the championship fight, they had the flares. It was that was that was really nice. They had the flares. Um, when we walked out with the, with the belt, that was that was different. Uh, with the mask, I mean, uh, we had to go along with the wins with the mask. I mean. It was, it was, we was pretty much, uh, pretty much used to it with the, uh, wearing a mask, but, um, but that's about it. That was just, it was different. It was different. Man, you know, in that area, man, there's a lot of top talent in this area. So yeah. you're constantly always getting the good work in. So mm -hmm. when you get to that point, when you get to the national stage, it's, it's, it's not unfamiliar territory facing the top fighters in the country. Uh, it's just like we've seen every uh, style before. So we already been here, and, you know, I'm comfortable. What what do you do that you don't get complacent and, and just just sit back and like oh I got this I don't have to work as hard what keeps you hungry and motivated I guess that's my main question what gets you get in my hand raised um yeah get in my hand raised you know get in my hand raised you know with the year that we just had with the COVID and everything and with you now winning the nationals. Um, just looking back on your whole experience, what's some of the things that you want to work on coming out of the Nationals? Um, as you prepare for the JOs. As I prepare for the JOs, um, staying more calm. I mean, I uh, started staying more calm throughout the fights. Uh, uh, but um, yeah, staying more calm, using my jab more, and uh, you know, just being more calm and settled. You know. Yeah, did you get a chance to look at any other fights while you were out there? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, 
fellow, um, what's his name? I fought him for, uh, Abdullah Mason. Yeah. Abdullah Mason, I saw Abdullah Mason. Look, mean down there. Um, Jamal Harvey. Um, we some good fights. Now, have you and Jamal had talks about the national team? Because I know, I, I think now he's a part of the, the Olympic team going out there with them now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't, I haven't really talked to Jamal, but, you know, I swear him. Hey, hey, uh. Hey, tournament. Well, hey. There we, uh, yeah, 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 we know when y'all have the spa days. Yeah. yeah. So, that's about it. Man, that's what's up, man. Congratulations on Thank the win, you. man. I know you're going to do big things uh, at the Nationals, man. And shout out to Wall Revere, too, man. Good mm -hmm. fighter. Good young fighter. Uh, hey, man. Much respect, man. To keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Representing No Excuse Jim. Uh -huh. Benjamin Johnson, aka VJ, man. Doing big things, only in the tenth grade, man. Remember this face, man. He, he go, you gonna see him like the face of USA boxing in the future, man. For real, man. Much respect, much love, man. Thank you. All right, there you have it, Benjamin Johnson, aka BJ, on the ropes. We out. All right, on the, all right, on the ropes out here. No excuse, Jim. Right now with Marcel Steele. What's good, big dog? Good. How are you? Uh, you was a runner-up at Nationals. I want, I want to talk about that, man. Going into the final matchup, man. You, you fought someone that you're very familiar with, and uh, Kalik Harrison. Mm -hmm. Just talk about that whole match and uh, just your whole overall experience at the Nationals. Uh, you know, it was a good fight. I think I would have, you know, controlled the pacing one more. You know, not back and straight up for it. Back and straight for it. You know, that could control the fight more. It was a good fight. Uh, we both was working. We saw the fight. You know, speaking on that, uh, controlling the fight. Did you get a chance to go back and, and, and look at it a few times, uh, the tape? What's some of the things you think you would have uh, changed in the beginning? Uh, in the beginning, I would have, uh, you know, been a little bit more busier. Uh, certain things in my life. Well, that's what's up, man. You know, uh, you're going to be going uh, to the jails. Are you going to the jails this year? Uh, with that being said, what's some of the things that you want to work on uh, as you prepare for the jails, knowing that you were a runner-up at, at Nationals and knowing you're going to be facing that top competition again uh, with your ranking? Uh, you know, I want to uh, work on I want to keep my stamina up so I can keep working like I do. And, uh, yeah. what's, what's, what, what would you say was your most memorable experience hanging out with your team down there at uh, Nationals this year? Uh, you know, part of the most memorable was breakfast. Breakfast was uh, after the win. Uh, you know, it was crazy. Uh, one of the things I saw, which was was, was unique to me, uh, was the uh, the fireworks going off. And yeah. which, was you a part of it also? It's the final match that with, with the fireworks going off. Man, that that must have been crazy to go yeah. through that though, that was, walk. Uh, first time experience something like that. You know, it was cool. It was like a, a real pro fight. You know? Was was that the first time they did something like that at uh, the Nationals for USA Boxing? Yeah, I believe so. Now I, I really enjoyed that, man. Man, you know. Coming back and uh, you you right back at it, getting in there grinding. Mm -hmm. well, what would you say was uh, you know from the Nationals? Who, who would you say was the fighter that really impressed you the most now? Man, if you had a chance to look at the different fights, uh, I would say my toughest fight uh, definitely for me. Uh, my first fight he was, he was also a tough fighter. You know, he was very tough. Uh, he was the first one most. Was, uh, it only had to be in your fight. Just uh, you had a chance. Did you get a chance to sit back and watch other fights? Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, Cause I heard a lot of people talking about um, um, Abdullah Mason with that performance yeah, he had. Yeah, that was a good fight. I like to watch that. I like his style, the way he fights. Well, that's what's up, man. So, man, continue to work hard and doing what you're doing and represent DC to the fullest, man. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you bring home that uh, bring it home that belt for the JOs, man. Sure. Well, that's what's up, man. Once again, we got Marcel Steele. He was a runner-up at Nationals, had a tough fight with uh, Kalik Harrison. And currently, right now, Marcel is ranked number two at what weight? Uh, 
132. Currently ranked number two at 132. Uh, team No Excuse Gym. There you have it. Marcel, we out. All right, what's good, Boxer World? I'm out here at No Excuse Gym. Got my dog Brandon in the house, man. What's good, man? Man, let's talk about the Nationals, man. You had you had a tough finals, man. That was that was a hell of a fight, man. What what did you take away from that experience? Uh, what I took away is like I could have did better. I know I could have won. It is. Really what what would you have done different starting out in that fight? Or you or, or you think you wouldn't have you would have uh, just pressed the pace more? Yeah, I could have pressed the pace more, way more. Well, I, I I thought it was real close, man. It could have went either way, in my opinion, man. But did did you feel the same way? Yeah, I felt the same way, but I know I could have beat him. Hey, what's 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 the thing you take away most from nationals, man? Oh, you <laughs> are you in the walk back there? You say you say you should have whooped his ass, man. You should have did. Twenty five, you never say right. I could have did. Should have whooped his ass. What you say, Lebron? Oh, you saw it too, right? Oh, you saw it too. You said he know, right? Now I don't. Now, now he right, right? I don't seen you fight many a times, man. And you, you, you bring the skills, the swag, the whole dive, man. And you bring, bring the relentless hustle. I agree with that, man. So what, what, are, what, are, what are you gonna do to change? Not even change, just to improve on what you want to do as you go get ready for the uh, Junior Olympics. Uh, push more in the gym. And just practice on being stronger. I mean, being mentally stronger, and just build on my IQ up. And we just, we just, I got a strong team. We all push each other in the gym. We gonna push each other. And yeah. Yeah, you know, speaking of that, man, your teammates and stuff, man. How proud of you on on the on the things that you all accomplished as a team down there at nationals this year. I think I'm very proud of my teammates. I'm proud of all of them that went. We all, we all showed out. We showed what we can do. And we showed that we're ready for anybody. Tell everybody your current rank right now. I think number two? Yeah, rank number two. Number two at the, at what weight? 85. Number two at 85. How many national championships? Not, man, hey. Let me tell everybody your age, big dog. 13. 13. I believe it's going to be coming this year, man. You keep working hard and doing what you're doing. Like Lamont said, man, I, I know you can do it, man. So I'm looking forward to seeing you bring it home, the Junior Olympics uh, medal down there um, in Lubbock, Texas, man. I'm looking forward to seeing, man, and keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep grinding and pushing, man. Man, I truly appreciate your time as always, man. Letting everybody know where they can follow you, man. Yeah, he a beast, y'all, for real. For real. But I say he can fight. Hey, he, Hey, he don't run from no smoke. No smoke. You in this, you in this uh, weight class, he ready for you, man. Thanks. Truly appreciate it, man. Got, hey, 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 before we leave, you got to everybody know where they can follow you, man. No Brandon underscore. No Brandon underscore on Instagram. All right, on the ropes, we out. Yeah.